What's good, Sneaker YouTube? It is your boy, the Hype Head Sneaker Beast, and we back with another video today. Oh yeah, so we are back in the studio. You guys know I've been in Boston. Um, I am going back, man. I'm only here for a couple of days. I had to touch down. I needed to say hello to my loved ones uh, before the holidays, so I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a banger in studio before I went back. But if you guys are new to the channel, welcome, and please make sure you guys actually go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. If you are OG crew, you already know I'm gonna say it in every video. I love you guys. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, make sure you guys actually go ahead and run up that like button. As you guys know, it helps out with that YouTube algorithm and it gets my videos to the people that need to see them. But without further ado, today you guys know, we're gonna be getting into a banger today. We're talking about potentially the best Air Jordan 1 of 2021. This is in conversation for Sneaker of the Year. I'm not necessarily sure if it is Sneaker of the Year. And by the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure you guys actually know what we're gonna be talking about and reviewing today. That Air Jordan 1, I'm on my year. The reason why we wanna talk about it um, again, actually, is because we just got word a few days ago that we're going to be getting another drop on amamanier.com this Monday, December 20th. So I wanna make sure that you guys are ready for that. Um, it was a manual cookout. I mean, when I say it was a cookout, I seen everyone hitting on that pair, except for me, of course. So you guys know I gotta get some redemption. I might actually do a live pop video on Monday for that pair because I, I would love to have a second pair, um, just maybe so I can have one to rock and one to stop. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So if you guys have been under a rock for some reason, you might not know anything about the Air Jordan and Ama Manier collaboration. If you guys are unfamiliar with Ama Manier, it is a boutique. Uh, they have a couple of different locations, I believe in DC, Houston, and Georgia. They have teamed up with Jordan one time previously with the Air Jordan 3 Ama Manier, and that has people buzzing. Um, that pair is considered by most people to be the sneaker of the year. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I, you know, I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the picks here. Uh, we actually took a, a poll in the BR Kicks community and it, it made number one. It was number one, but I'm just not so sure seeing as how that Travis Scott fragment low was just like the pair that everyone needed to have. Uh, but back to Ama Manier, as I said earlier, it was quite easy for manual users to actually cop this pair on amamanyear.com, which is why I know that it is uh, regarded as highly because bots actually had not uh, did not have a very good chance of copying on their website. And I think that all sneaker releases need to move over to this model. Way more manual cookouts in the future if they do that. This pair actually released in early December for about $200. And I think it was close to $220 uh, with shipping. So they are uh, planning a new release. Uh, they are planning another release for the Ama Manier Air Jordan 1 this Monday. Today is Friday. Uh, they will be planning another release for Monday. So make sure you guys, if you missed out on this pair on Sneakers app, if you missed out on this pair on Ama Manier before, make sure you guys are ready to go. It was fairly simple to cop this pair. Uh, one tip I want to tell you guys about the I'm on your website if you're not familiar with it is you're going to have to answer a security question. The security qu uh, the security question last time was actually pretty easy. The main problem is usually drawing the box. Now I got through on my first try with the box, but my pair actually sold out while I was waiting. I had a five minute wait. So the key to this drop is going to be speed. But when you get to drawing the box, you really want to take your time. Do it slow and make sure you just make sure you're just outside of whatever the object is they're asking you to make that rectangle around. But the key here is to be quick, get in quick, answer your question quick, take your time on the box, and hopefully you get under a five minute wait. I've seen people actually hit on pairs with like a eight to ten minute wait. For some reason, the size 13 just sold out quickly, and of course, I took a major L. The reason why I love this pair so much and the reason why I actually love the Ama Mayer collaboration so much is because a lot of times, well, all the time, there is a story behind the release. Like the Air Jordan 3 Ama Mayer raised by women literally touched my heart because I was raised by women. And 
just hearing that story about that being the first pair that his mother bought him, uh, James Whitner, uh, the founder of Ama Manier, uh, his mother bought him an Air Jordan 3, which is why he wanted to make an Air Jordan 3 and put their um, their look on it, their spin on it. It, it, it. I had to have that pair. I told you guys about it when I got it. I, when I saw it, I had to have it. Now this pair, uh, where the mantra here or the, the what we're talking about here is airness. Um, I know everyone calls Michael Jordan uh, your airness, royal airness. And if you guys have not had a chance to take a look at that video uh, that they put out on Ama Manier, it was very, very powerful. Um, I don't really, I can't really explain it to you without butchering it. So I want you guys to actually go ahead and take a look at that video. If not, I might actually go ahead and drop a link to the video in the description for you guys to be able to take a look at that because it was just done so beautifully and so well. And if you actually want to own this pair, you should want to own the pair for the story as well as the aesthetic. This pair actually comes fully wrapped in cracked leather. I know I said earlier in a previous video that it was like a buttery suede, but this leather is very premium. It is cracked leather. Now I've seen some mixed reviews on this pair in particular because a lot of people say that it was lackluster. Um, they, they really built themselves up and it was a little bit more lackluster in appearance when they got it. But when I opened my pair, as you guys can see here, this pair was amazing. I, I mean, the materials felt just extremely premium and a premium. And that's what you guys know I love about sneakers. I don't like a lot of the GRs because you don't really get that premium feel. You don't have a story behind it. So I definitely love this pair in particular. The one thing that I will say is that the outsole is not sale. It's more of a pinkish color. Um, it's more pink. And I will do a comparison with the Travis Scott uh, Air Jordan 1 so you guys can actually see the difference in the colors on the bottom. So if you guys are going for this pair, you know exactly what you're looking for. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at the pair in hand in your guys' face so we can go ahead and make our own assumption. I have I have seen this pair already. Um, it's not the first time I'm looking at it. As soon as I got home, I literally took my coat off and I opened this box because I really needed to see it. But you guys already know the box, the sleeve is part of the experience. I love this. I love that it's so, um, it's just next level, it's just premium. So if you guys are going to the inside, we have the Ama Manier logo in there with Jordan forming the Jumpman logo right there. That's pretty simple. We got the Ama Manier paper, which kind of comes standard. And this is it, man. I mean, this is a really beautiful shoe. I mean, it's not, the, the, the beauty in this shoe is the simplicity. It's not a ton of colors. It's not super loud. It's not like a J Balvin. It doesn't have like a, a backward swoosh. It doesn't have a ton of suede and, 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 you know, it's just simple. And I think that that's why I prefer, I don't even like Jordan ones. You guys know, I'm not a Jordan one like purist. I do like Jordan ones, but they're not my favorite. Um, I would still probably pick the Air Jordan 3 over this pair, but it is literally by like a smidge just because of the different materials on that shoe. The color blocking was, uh, it, it was just like unmatched. The, com the color blocking in that pair is unmatched. And we'll actually go ahead and take a look at that. These two, uh, the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 3 in a different video. But for now, I wanna just kinda of give you guys a little bit of a comparison here, where you guys can see, we're looking at both of these shoes. They were calling this sale, right? Okay, that's more pinkish. And then this is more of a sale look. So if you guys are expecting to get this pair or you wanna purchase this pair, just understand that this is a little bit different. This color here is gonna be pink and this is more of your sale colorway, if you look at that there. But the biggest thing on this shoe, the biggest piece that people kind of have gripes with is this cracked leather all over the entire shoe. Now, I've seen people say that their pairs have been kind of shedding, I guess, if you will. They, they say that they've been shedding. My pair has, has not had any shedding. I've seen videos with people's like pairs like 
shedding all over them and I have not had that problem. I've taken them out the box. I've been looking at them. I've been holding them. I've been just kind of like trying to look, just really examine them and see like what, if there's anything that I'm missing in this pair and I'm not missing anything. I really, really love this shoe. This is a very simple shoe, but it is a banger. It is an absolute banger. Um, I think I have it pretty high on my top 10. Um, I'm gonna say it's probably top five for me uh, of what we've seen this year. Anytime you have a quilted sock liner like this, anytime you have that premium, that like support there, that premium quilt, anytime you have that on a pair, it's gonna be in a top five. There's no, I, I challenge anyone, anyone to drop a Air Jordan one that dropped this year that was better than this pair. And I know a lot of people are gonna say UNC's, you know, or I, I just, it's just not, I don't see it. I mean, but I want you to, to uh, the pollens, no way. No way pollens beat this. So if you guys drop that pair that you think is better than this pair in the comment section below, we can have a healthy debate about it. I love to talk to you guys. But like I said, let me give you guys a good look here. Just so you guys can kind of understand. We do get another release on Monday. So a lot of people who were not able to cop this pair for whatever reason, you are able to still go for this pair on amamanier.com on Monday. And you should be able to have some success if you are actually pretty quick. Let's take a look at both of them together. I have not laced this one up yet. Still have not put it on foot either. I'm not sure what I'm doing here because I wanna see if I can cop a second pair, one to rock, one to stop. I mean, it's just a fire pair, this snake prank. We didn't even talk about the snake skin prank here. Now, it's not an actual print, I don't believe. I think it's just, I mean, obviously it's not real snake skin, um, but it's kind of like, it's kind of just printed on there. See so if you can maybe take a look at that from there. But it's still really dope. And I think that the snake skin, the snake print is just another way to say, hey, there's a bit of elegance here. There's a bit of premiumness to here. And I think that that's why I love Ama My Year so much is because there is that, that line of elegance, but also like just, it's still hard. Like I don't even know, I don't really know how to say it. It's still hard, but I love this pair, man. I love this pair. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you guys Go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now if you have not already subscribed to the channel. We are still doing the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Guys, we are at about 750 subscribers. Every time I say the number, it gets larger and larger, and that is thanks to you guys. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give me, all of the kind words, the comments, Anytime I drop a video, you guys like it up. So make sure you guys actually go ahead and run up this like button. Like I said, if you're new to the video, make sure you guys actually subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in sneaker content like this. If you're OG crew, Nodi gang, I appreciate you guys. But until next time, it is your boy, the Hypex Sneaky Beast. I'm gone.